Welcome to the Chief's Way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Today on Solar Basics, we're going to discuss the 3S panel configuration. We're going to be putting panels in groups of three together in series, a 3S configuration. So let's get started. All right, we're ready to set up our uh, panels in a 3S configuration. So all we need are one, two, three solar panels and our extension cable. So let's get started. Okay, we got our three panels laid out. Now we need to connect the black wire of our first panel to the red wire of our middle panel. And then the black wire of our middle panel to the red wire of our third panel. So let's do that. All right, now we have red hooked to black and red hooked to black and that leaves us from the with the red wire from our third panel over here and the black wire from our first panel over here. So we're going to hook those two up to our extension cables, black to black and red to red. So let's do that. All right, we're all hooked up. So all we got to do is stand our panels up, turn them to the sun and uh, go check what kind of power we're making. So let's do that. Panels are up in full sun, so let's go down in the basement and check what kind of power we're making. Okay, we're back inside now, and we're making almost uh, almost 51 volts. You know, it goes up to 51, 50.7. So we're making just short of 17 volts per panel. See what kind of amperage we're getting out of the uh, the charge controller. Okay, we're getting 19 amps out. Remember, we had 300 watts of panels out there. We have a 3S configuration. Okay, so we're getting in 50 volts, but we're going to drop that voltage down, okay, to a usable voltage for the battery. When we drop that voltage down, we increase the amps. So we're not really getting 19 amps down the cable from the battery, I mean, excuse me, from the panels, but that's what we're outputting from our charge controller. Let's see what's going into the battery. There are 254, 255 watts right now with the sun conditions we have and 18.9 uh, to 19 amps. Okay, now we're gonna go set up our panels in a 3S2P, 3S2P, okay? Our current is a 3S. We're gonna now go set it up to a 3S2P. Okay, we're ready to start our 3S2P configuration. We already have our first three panels set up in a 3S configuration. So to do a 3S2P configuration, we're going to need one, two, three more panels, two Y connectors for putting the, the sets in parallel, and a three foot extension cable. Okay, let's get it set up. Okay, we have our three additional panels laid out. So we need to connect black to red and black to red and get them set up in series. And then we need to connect our extension cable. So let's do that. Okay, we got black to red and black to red, and then both of them hooked up to our extension cables. Okay, now we need to, we need to hook up the extension cables and add two Y connectors into our th original three panels. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now we have our extension cable from our set of three new panels in series. We have our existing panels we had in series. We have our Y connectors and we have our extension cables back to the house. So we need to hook the extension cables back to the house into the output of the Y connectors and then plug each one of the two panel strings into the inputs of the Y connectors. So let's do that. Okay, red's hooked to red, black's hooked to black. All we need to do is stand up our panels and go in and check the power. Okay, our panels are stood up so we have a 3S and a 3S and a 1 and a 2P. So 3S, 3S, 1P, 2P. 
3S2P configuration. Okay, we're back inside now. We see we're making about 56 volts coming down from the panels and and 42 amps. So we're actually exceeding the uh, amperage output of this. This is supposed to be a 40 amp, but we're making 42 amps. So let's see what we're getting into the battery. Look at that, 601 watts. And f measured down here of 43 amps. So, I mean, we, those panels are cooking right now in the sun out there. And we are in the 3S 2P configuration. Meaning we have two sets of three panels in series, and then we parallel them together for a total of 600 watts. Uh oh, it looks like a cloud might be moving over a little bit. We're losing a little bit of power. We're still in the, uh, well, now we're down in the 400s. Yeah, so the clouds are rolling in now. But well, we got to see those panels out there at full power. 600 over 600 watts about 603 watts in full sun in the 3s 2p configuration which is the normal configuration i run all right thank you youtube make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button and we'll see you the next time bye bye